How does a terror group go from being just a terror group to being a mafia or a cartel or a hybrid of the two? The DEA is now investigating a multi-million dollar money laundering scheme with possible terrorist ties. There was strong influence of Middle Eastern drug traffickers, mainly Lebanese, that were working through Colombia, coordinating cocaine shipments. We knew that there was discussion about weapons and who was getting paid. I couldn't comprehend what we had actually started with that case. Hezbollah had a growing presence, and they were getting involved in money laundering, cocaine trade, and arms trafficking. And so Special Operations Division suddenly was positioned to go after some of the baddest guys on the planet. And that formed the basis of what would later become Project Cassandra. Nobody ever took an action against a terrorist organization by attacking on a grand scale their criminal activity. We were the guys. We were working undercover, posing as our own cartel. Next thing you know, we're pulling off suitcases of suitcases filled with cash. The Lebanese banking system was a huge source of money. When you hit the money, that's when it hurts them. We wanted to show Hezbollah that we could target them anywhere, everywhere. By saying Hezbollah, we knew that it was ultimately Iran. The United States has achieved a comprehensive long-term deal with Iran. The White House felt that the progress we had made could cause serious risks to our national security. I was told specifically we couldn't use Hezbollah as the terrorist group in a narco-terrorism charge. It was just said, that's not going to fly right now. The enemy you know better than the one you don't know. We know exactly who these guys are and we're at some point of stabilization. Some point of stabilization. Look at Iraq, look at Syria. We have stopped the spread of nuclear weapons in this region. That's stable? 